You got it? Yeah. Your shirt's up? All right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you got Okay. We see it. It's a not, I botched the shirt. We'll oh, talk about that the shirt. Did we talk about it last episode? Hold on. Let me let me start the cast. Sorry. Start the show? Welcome back. No. I Sorry. I do that. Oh, <laughs> and before we even get started, we have a four-year-old alert. No one even knows what's going on right now. Welcome back to Married to a Nerd. <laughs> this is Married to a Nerd. Episode, I don't even remember. We do it so spiraling. The next episode of Married to a Nerd. Welcome to that, because that's what this is. You're not even in the shot, and you're having a spaz. What is going on? Do I need to restart? She likes the, the glowy thingies. I know she does. Okay. I don't even know what we're talking about now. I had a whole thing planned to start with, and you both distracted me. Oh, you, you want? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Excuse me. That's right. This is your show. I'm sorry, baby. Okay, yeah, we get it. You're going to sing a song? You're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I don't want to sing a song. Okay. You don't want to sing a song? No. Okay, go watch your cartoons so we can record this. All right, I need to talk to your mother about her addiction problem. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay I love you. Okay, okay. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Heather has an addiction problem. I do? What's that addiction? Yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. Baja Mountain Dew. That's right. Baja Mountain Dew. You'd think... It's Man, not, it's not Stevie V, you look like you drink a lot of Mountain Dew. You, why are, you should be the one addicted to the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Nay, nay. Boom. Hey, nay, nay. <laughs> yeah. You're addicted. I, I was good until they put it in the bottles in the store now. It, I, I could, I'm perfectly fine. I can go by Taco Bell any way I want. And I, and I won't feel the need to get one. But now they have it. And like 12 packs and like the 20 ounce bottles, the big ass cans, the grocery stores. So now I've stockpiled up on Baja Mountain Dew. I almost want to throw in a picture of our fridge. What's no, There's only like. Good. There's a lot in there. There's only like 10 bottles in there. The, the, the 12 pack that you've already consumed is gone. You helped. I had a couple. I did not drink those. I myself. haven't had that much. I know Showtime had a couple, and he was like, I'm never drinking them again. <laughs> yeah, he got, got like a pimple and freaked out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, Worth it. And he's too gorgeous for that, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so Baja Blast came out head is addicted. What's going on with that? Oh, well. I enjoy it, too. I'm not going to lie. Um, so good. You know what else Heather's addicted to? Once Upon a Time. You watch that show, Once Upon a Time? We're going to talk about the finale, because that happened in our lives. So It happened in our lives. It happened in our lives, people. So, spoilers if you haven't seen what the season three finale of Once Upon a Time. It's not that crazy, but it's crazy if you're a fan of the show. Uh, I don't really know what's going on in the show. Here's what I know. Heather and Trex are watching it, and I, and I was like, man, let me, let, me see what, let me see what this cliffhanger is. Let me see. Let me, let me check out this clip. This, this is going to be stupid. Exactly. That's. I've never really liked the show. So anyway, so I sit down to this cliffhanger ending. For the, uh, yeah, he says season finale. Yeah. It's a cliffhanger season finale ending. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. And boom, it's Elsa. Elsa from once, uh, from Frozen. From Frozen. I was, she then, comes out of the portal. And then I, I don't even know what that means. But anyway, so... I was excited, and I said, because, I mean, I like Frozen. I mean, who doesn't like Frozen at this point, right? I mean, they probably are. Oh, Jack's going to get mad. Hold on a second. All right, let's just, uh, sorry, we weren't really even. Oh, no. I know. We're not even really not even right now. Hold on. That's it, what we are. I hate doing this because when I watch it back, it goes <laughs> when I touch it. Hold on. Oh, God. It's just going on. Okay, that's a little better. There you go. Sorry. Centered. Okay. So, <laughs> stop it. So, <laughs> so, anyway, so. I was like, now nah, I'm intrigued. So I've actually, I've been against the show for so long because I watched the first couple episodes. I was like, hey, I'm bored, and now I've been been watching it. It's so. good. It's it's it's, it's fun good. to see how they write in their characters. Yes. And really, I'm binge watching because I want to see how they write in the frozen characters because I'm pretty. I think they've said that that's not like Elsa is not the only frozen character that's going to show up. So I want to see how they're written in, but I just can't start shows. In season four, I can't do that, so I have to go back and watch everything. I got really disheartened though because I was watching it on Netflix. And I was like, "Why is season one not over yet? I've watched eighteen episodes, and then there's like seven more because it's like a 25, 26 episode season, uh, series every every year." And so I was like, "Wow!" So I'm not even finished with season one yet. So I'm gonna... they're they're hour long episodes. Yeah, and they're hour long episodes. 
It's got more episodes than 24 did. Speaking of that, 24 came back. Jack is back! That's been a part of our lives as well. Oh, God, they're going to kill him. They're not going to kill him because he's Jack. They're going to arrest him. They're not going to arrest him because he's Jack. He's going to... He's a terrorist. No, he's not because he's <laughs> Jack. Jack is back. And there's emo Chloe. Chloe flips her hair. What's no, up she doesn't her? really flip her hair. It just keeps saying that she looks like... Mentally. She's like, I'm, 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 I'm angry about life. They kill my family. Now I'm a hacker. Anyway, she was always kind of a hacker, though, right? I don't know. Yeah, but uh, she's like. Now she's like a. Now she's like a. Excuse me, I just punched you. That's cool. <laughs> now she's like a British hacker. I don't know. Hanging with the Brits, hacking. I think, that, I think that's like Trex's dream is to hang with the Brits. You got it. Ah, I do. You're I, like... I'm adjusting my shirt. Leave me alone. It's right here. It's, I don't know. Oh, it's this side. Okay. <laughs> I just I get confused because you know I'm here, but it's my other side, and because it's like mirror on the. Le just stop it, okay? I'm not. I feel it. I feel I feel judged. Okay, so uh, my birthday. Your birthday. In between, I don't know however many weeks it's been since the last show. Mm -hmm. My birthday's happened. Happy birthday. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Mary knew my birthday. I'm always like, you know what? I'm too old for something. I don't want to, like three days before. You know what? Let's go ahead and just get the game let's, together. You know what? Let's just have let's just have dinner with a couple people, and well, well if. They heard me talking about it, so now we're going to invite the people from work, and I'm going to invite them. I might as well invite Showtime's mom. And <laughs> she did show up. <laughs> just everybody. We're not going to do anything big. We're just going to take a 45-minute drive. We went to the drive-in. Okay, there's not that many drive-ins left in the U.S. There's one about 45 minutes away from us. They showed double features. A double feature was Amazing Spider-Man 2 and then Captain America. That's got to happen, right? Yep. It was a lot of fun. You hadn't seen Amazing Spider-Man at no. that point. We all had. I um, had not. Yeah, but you hadn't. So, and I didn't mind seeing them both again. That, that way I could be distracted and still talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I know. Oh, now Why? you're doing it. Boom. You know, there is no scientific reason for why that happens. No, not really. Some people, they've said that it might be um, heard warning trigger. Something. Something. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh. You know, this happened last time I was crazy. Stop it. I'm sorry. You, okay. you did it to me on the phone. I did. I, I can't help it. Okay. Um... So we saw Spider-Man. What do you think of Spider-Man? We already know what you thought of Cap, right? We went last episode. We, we went talk about Cap. Yeah, so yeah, what do you think did. of Spider-Man? Spider-Man was good. Was uh, the Gwen Stacy death emotional? It was not. I didn't cry. Oh, spoilers, by the way. If you haven't seen Amazing Spider-Man 2 yet. I didn't cry, but it was like, ooh. Are you taking a shot at me because I teared up a little bit? Was that a shot at me? No. I feel like that was a shot at me. Well, you bring up that I, I mean... That I boohooed at Les Mis in the movie theater. Yeah, but see, I... Straight up, just... <laughs> Les Mis is, is like singing. This is Spider-Man. Oh. Oh. <sighs> it's kind of what I don't know. Uh, I got in trouble for not being emotional during Les Mis because no. I didn't think the, sad, the ending was sad. No. The whole we movie was boring. Because you made inappropriate jokes <laughs> while everybody else was What crying. am I supposed to do? I need to be entertained. The movie was so boring. The movie was entertaining. Was, now we're walking down the street. No, we no. have to sing everything that we do. Oh, I kind of have to pee. Let me go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. I'm opening the door to the bathroom. It's they a, don't narrate anything. They, narr they didn't sing everything. They I mean, sang everything, but they didn't narrate what they were doing. It just, it was, I don't know, it just, it just wasn't with it. So, yeah, I made a couple of jokes to entertain myself a little bit. Some people laughed. You laughed a little bit. Well, I don't know, you might have scoffed and then giggled. But some people thought it was funny. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I got called, so, so now I'm being made fun of for being emotion, like having emotions at the end of Amazing Spider-Man 2. We get it. We see it, baby. You're beautiful. Okay, so I get in trouble for... There she is. So I get in trouble for having... Uh, Elena, you think Daddy should be in trouble for having emotions at the end of Amazing Spider-Man? No. Right? I should I should be allowed to get tearful at the death of Gwen Stacy. Spoilers. Right? Dude, was Spider-Man's... 
Did you like Spider-Man, Elena? Yes. What was your favorite part? Um, when Spider-Man spread, spread his webs. He shot his webs? What did Spider-Man say? Flip to it. Flip to it! <laughs> Sorry, I thought of that. So, <laughs> Elena didn't cry, but she didn't understand what's going on. She didn't understand the, the emotion that was going on on the screen. I did. I got it. I grabbed Preach's leg. I, I squeezed it. And I was serious. And he was emotional, too. You know what the problem is? Is The problem is is the people that make fun of me for it, you know, they're not they're not married. And they don't get it. They don't get what it's like to have someone like that so close and tight. This isn't a shot at anybody. You know, people think it's direction. No, it's just you're just not there yet. And when you get there, maybe you should go rewatch Made in Spider-Man 2. And then you'll feel what me and Preach felt. Or Preach and I? Me or Preach? Preach and I. Preach and I. What Preach and I felt. I'm just saying. It was emotional. What was really sad is that he thought he saved her. Right, and then she wasn't saved. She's like... Flopping around like a dead fish. But what I thought was pretty funny was that with the creation of Electro, you and Elena kind of called bullshit. We don't cuss on this show. Yeah, we do. Okay. <laughs> um, she, I uh, like, cause she was staring at it. Like he gets electrocuted, mm -hmm. he falls into a barrel full of electric eels, and then electrocuted some more. She's looking at it like he should be dead. You like the Electro, right? The blue yeah. guy that shot lightning and stuff. And Spider Man. Yeah. You don't even know what we're talking about. He was a little she scary, huh? She doesn't get yes. it. Yeah, it's creepy. She doesn't understand. It's good. It's like, go! Oh, okay, sorry. Yes, she does. Right. Uh, but I like I like the, this new Spider Man better than Toby Maguire. I don't want to be Spider Man! That's a uh, shout out to Larry GameStop. And Peter Fitz is here. Alright, Spider Man. Alright. Go watch your show. This, we, we have a professional okay. production going on, Elena Joe. I love you, my sunshine. I do. Mwah. Yeah. Okay, so we have our uh, our reunion coming up, high school reunion. Ten years. Ten year reunion. Think about getting a lift for it? Like <laughs> I just lifted it up. You know what I like? Um, for those that don't know, Heather and I actually met in middle school, and we went to the same high school. And uh, this is good, right? That's perfect. Okay. But see, in high school, Heather didn't really want anything to do with me. We were good friends. Well, I don't want to say we were even really good friends. I said we were just friends. I, I feel didn't like, hate you, but you were really aggravating. I feel like I saved you from being alone socially. I feel like if I hadn't had you join our group of friends, that you you wouldn't have had any group of friends. No that's why I called you. Because no. I was... Uh, no, yeah. That's I'm why I contacted you at MySpace. No, I'm referring to high school, freshman year. When, you were, when you were staying there alone in the hall. So sad. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, I was at the vending machine. Vending machine. So sad. <laughs> I said, hey, hey, aren't you Heather? And you were like, oh, yeah. I said, hey, man, I eat lunch in the bleachers. Why don't you eat lunch with me and my friends? And then you left me there. I did. Well, I moved on to bigger and better things socially. Well, that's because you had your best friend ask me out for you. Oh, you got you did not just brought it. <laughs> I, you did, I did. You had him ask me out for you. And I was like, where's he at? And he's like, he's over there. And I was I'm, like, he can't ask me out by himself. I'm going to stop no. the and show. Then, and then what happens? I'm going to stop goes, the show. Oh, well, will you go out with me? And I'm like, what kind of wingman is this? I'm going to no. stop the show and delete that out. That is... That's embarrassing. <laughs> Woo. Uh, okay, so if I had had asked you out, you would have still said no. I probably would have said no. I was hung up on somebody else. Yeah. How'd that work out? Oh. Wait, no. So we can be embarrassing about me. We can't be embarrassing about not, Most high school relationships don't work out. Ours, I'm not the same person I was in high school. I sort of did. I am. No. You're not. <laughs> no, so uh, I, I may have been aggravated. But she was stuck up. And I no didn't. One, if you asked me, I would say no, I wasn't. What if I asked you right now? Yeah, I was stuck up. Yes, you were definitely stuck up. So the aggravating. I, I don't know if I was aggravating to everybody. I know yeah, I aggravated. Yeah, you were aggravating to everybody. What? No! I was not aggravating to everybody. I know. I got in a lot of trouble. I will say that. 
I was sort of a troublemaker, but not. I, I got enough trouble to where it never got me in big trouble, but it was enough to get me in a lot of little trouble all the time. You were a clown. Yes, and I and I would uh, joke at uh, teachers' expenses, and then I would get written up, and then I would get hours. It was this whole big thing. Anyway, um, so moral of the story is the I guess not moral of the story is uh, the point of the story is what's my age again? Is that we're going to the ten year reunion and. One of our class's biggest troublemakers married one of our class's biggest stuck up chicks. Boom. And I have a baby with her, so you know what that means happened. Yeah, think about it. You know. And so, <laughs> so now uh, it's fun. It's fun to go back. And uh, it's the same weekend as Heroes Con, though. So that has, that has been a big trouble in our household. For him. Um, has not affected my plans at all. I've tried. I've tried. I've even tried to talk her out of going to reunion, and that talk went over about as well as. Oh yeah, because preach was like, it. just talk her out of it. Yeah, preach was like, she she want to go. I said, listen, I'll, I'll ask her, but I'm pretty sure she really wants to go. And, and sure enough, and see, I do have the ability to kind of like persuade, but I didn't want to do that at that stuff. That's something she wants to do, and so now I'm doing both, which is just going to be. I'm going to go to Heroes Con Friday. Not. And it would, we would say we're ridiculous. Going to Heroes Con Friday, uh, and I'm going to Heroes Con Saturday, and then we're me and Benjamin, uh, Benjamin, aka Shadow, if you remember him from back. Uh, well, he's been hey. a couple of stuff, yeah. yeah. Uh, we are leaving Heroes Con at like four or five o'clock to drive home in the evening, not the a.m. <laughs> yeah, and to get yeah. ready for the reunion. So I am. I don't know if if, if you haven't been to Con, you know what it's like, but there is. A legit thing of con fatigue. Like you get back and you are just like, Ugh. so I have no idea what that's going to be like. I just feel like I maybe just... you can have um, Ben drive. Rebel, rebel, take a nap. Yeah. Rebel, 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 rebel. Or just like, or I'll just like take eight Red Bulls. Rebel, rebel, rebel. On just like. That's what I need. I need you on Red Bull. Red Bull, and then I'll take some shots once we get to the reunion. And now you've got hyped up, drunk Stevie B. Boom. Hashtag Stevie B flow. <laughs> okay. There's an out. I just need to get this out. Okay. I'm gonna, and I told you I didn't know if I was going to talk about it. I think I'm going to talk about it. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to call any names or anything, but there's there's, certain, there's, there's stuff that, that, that aggravates me that I see online sometimes. Facebook right? drama. Yeah, exactly. It's not necessarily Facebook drama. It's, yeah, just, with Facebook drama. it's just with people in general. On Facebook. It's not just people on Facebook. It's people in general. Uh, it bothers me when... People give relationship advice who are either A, not in a relationship, B, can't keep a relationship, or C, can't keep a marriage. And I get some of that sometimes. And, and there's a particular person from our graduating class, not calling anybody out, who, who does this constantly. He says, hashtag gentleman flow. And it just bothers me because, you know, uh, he maybe his relationship is up on Facebook. I don't know him that well. But I, I just feel like I know he's not married. So I know he's not experienced with marriage and actually dealing with that portion of life uh, for years. I mean, we've been doing it for three... We'll be married four years this year. All three years, almost four, come and October. Yeah, and we've been together seven. Seven years. <sighs> That's a long time. Anyway. You're done on me the other day, too. I was like, <laughs> real? No. <laughs> so... So when I see stuff like that, it just bothers me. So, uh, Heather thinks, or I've mentioned that I might take a little, make a little joke at the reunion. A joke, a joke. I, I kid with I you, kid. yeah. So, but it just, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, and you, maybe you think I'm being dramatic. Everybody thinks I'm being dramatic, but I just that kind of stuff has always bothered me. It's like, listen, I'm clearly doing better than you've done. Clearly doing. Why? Why would I take advice from you? Why are you putting your advice out there when you yourself are inexperienced? As a, that's like that's like me giving advice on how to fix a car. I don't know a thing about cars. That made no sense. I don't know how to put the windshield wiper fluid in. And to change a tire. Sort of. Don't make that face. Don't make that face. We change that tire together. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know how to change a tire. I know how to change a tire too. You try to 
Don't just don't, don't tell the internet I don't know how to change a tire. I'm telling the internet you. Do you made a face like I didn't know how to change a tire. You kind of know how to face. What What are you talking about? I know how to kind of know how to change a tire. I know how to change a tire. I believe you. You know how to change. A You've tire. seen me change a tire. I helped you change a tire. Right, we did it together because we're a team. That's what marriage is all about. Hashtag marriage flow. Boom. I still want to do lady flow. Lady, that that is gross though. Lady flow, like. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Because it could be anything. It could be like literally lady flow, or it could be like lady flow. It's. I mean, that's pretty much what it's like, though. Like, I don't know if you know. Oh, I know. Okay, okay. Just making sure. I'm aware. If you're aware, I'm glad you're aware, because I'm aware. No, just because I'm aware, it's something to have control on. It's just it's a hog smash. Yeah, I think that you know some some people. I, I don't think this. I want to. I want to retract that statement. I don't think this. I've seen where some people have said that it's all in girls' minds. No. There are some chicks who let it get out of hand, I think, because they can use the excuse. But they're just, there's little voice in the back of your head like, oh, this is crazy. Why are we doing The universe is like, fuck you. We're going to eat this anyway. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Here's some advice. Boom, we're giving you advice. Boom. Hashtag marriage flow. Hashtag lady flow. Here it comes. That's right. Is it okay for your man to ask? Just so he's let's go. Hey, you know, are, are we dealing with that right now? Just so he knows, maybe he should step back a little bit. I feel like it depends upon your approach and the tone of voice. What if it's just like I that? I think I think you do it pretty well, and you're like you like put the shield up, and you're like, don't be mad. But is this maybe because you know? Because of that, yes, maybe. And you're like, all right, and then you back off and throw chocolate. Yeah, go here's some chocolate. <laughs> Here's, here's dark chocolate. Go. Dark chocolate. Go. 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 Uh, we got some vacation coming up. Maybe we'll shoot some some uh, recording during the vacation. Vacation's all I don't know. You know me. I'll always like to put the vacation. phone in your face. Look, it's from air to a nerd. Just do what I oh, say. Oh, yeah. You can, you can record me hopped up on my third Baja Mountain Dew. <laughs> Driving in the car. She bought these big cans. Why don't you just go grab a big can? So, uh, we have like six of these in the fridge. We talked about the Baja stuff earlier. But no, we're, we're taking a road trip. We're taking two road trips, two separate times this month to Florida. for uh, The first one's for my niece's graduation. And look at this. Whew. It's beautiful. Look at that Baja Blast. This is what Heather's jacked up on. This is this is, this is her feeling right Hopped up on the dew. I feel like I should just buy a case of this. This is actually supposed to be two servings. And what... <laughs> How many are you going to drink on a row? Probably like two of them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we got two trips, two separate trips to Florida, one for my niece's graduation. This is a meal. It is a meal. There's a lot of calories in that. This uh, whole thing is a lot. You know you're going to interrupt me right now. It's 340. All right. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Can I talk now? I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, so my niece's graduation, beginning of the month, we're leaving actually in a couple of days. Uh, it's fun. And also, uh, apparently, my brother's wedding. So that's going to be fun. Um, I it, it's a it's a shocker to me. I didn't know he was gonna get married, and he he wants to do it early, so we're all there. So to take a trip down, and I'm very happy for him. Um, that's, that's all I got to say about that at this point. <laughs> hey, right? I, I don't know. Like you just it, it's it's a lot to take in. Hey, by the way, I'm getting married. I saw him on Thanksgiving. He was single, so and now he's getting married. So it, it's just it's just a lot to take in. Um, I have no no. No prejudge judgment or anything like that. I, I have nothing going on. It's just, I, it's just going to be a whole new thing when I go down there. Now it's got got a whole new family, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm excited to meet everybody and expect, you know all that. You know, it's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Like so, okay. Uh, and then then after that, you know, we have Heroes Con reunion, and then like a week after that, uh, my aunt's uh, my grandma passed away. We talked about that. Uh, well, while we were there, they talked about doing another family reunion this year, and so boom, here it is. Uh, it's going to be someplace in Florida. I can't remember where. Some beach. Some beach. Some hotel. So it's somewhere. Just, I don't know what we're going to do if they have anything planned, trips to take. We're just pretty much going to go and join in. It's a lot of fun. All my cousins are going to be there. It's going to be a blast. I got asked to personally bring back cards against humanity, so that's fun. Um, I enjoyed. I, I just, I, you know, it's the. We don't see each other that much, but we're pretty tight knit. I just feel like I can be 100% myself around them now. It's the alcohol that binds us. Is it? They, we we are big drinkers, though. I we for your grandma's 
funeral, that poor gas station up the street ran out of a whole type of beer. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember what it was. The but Miller Lite. Yeah. It was out. It's funny. No, they, live it's there, disgusting. they live in a retirement com community, and there's one gas station at their exit, and everybody kept going, and they did sell out. But, I mean, hey. <laughs> was there wasn't really that many people. I don't think there was, like, maybe 20 Ain't you no know, funeral like a Baxter funeral because of. Baxter funeral don't. No. Stop. Drinking. You said funeral. No, don't stop drinking. Oh. Boom. I don't know. It was fun. It was, we had a good time. and uh, So hopefully we can match that and have a lot of fun. I'm excited. Yep, no crying at this trip. Uh, did I cry last time? No, I did. Oh, that's right. You cried about, about my grandma. No, not about my grandma. Not my grandma, but I'm gonna cry about it anyway. She cried. Well, I mean, I, 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 it was, it wasn't that bad until they started. You know, it's, this isn't bad, but there's my grandma had a lot of stuff there, and so all the all my fellow cousins, everybody in my generation, kind of got pulled back there and say, hey, if you see something you like, let us know, and and you can you can take it. You know, it's memorabilia for your grandmother, and and that was emotional, like that. That, that that gets to you. It's getting to me right now, actually. So I kind of want to change the subject. Okay. Uh, anyway, so that's gonna be fun. We got a family reunion, so I'm probably gonna try to take some tapes at both. And uh, some tapes. I'll just I'll just put my my family on blast on YouTube and not tell them. I don't know how many of them actually watch the stuff we do. So I think. Tell so. Uncle Jimmy. I think it was uh, Uncle Jimmy scares us. You did what? <laughs> he always has a shocked face, Uncle Jim. <laughs> um, what else is gonna? Oh yeah, you're gonna buzz my hair later. I'm almost thinking about popping a camera on for that tomorrow. I was gonna buzz my hair. She got you, if you know preach. You see preach. He's always got the buzz cut. Uh, his wife cuts his hair, so uh, they live close by. And so Heather was like, "Let me get those clippers, so I can cut CVV's hair." This is my first time. So I'm, I'm always thinking about uh, just taping it just to see what happens, because I have a feeling that when she's done, I'm going to be taking a trip to see Preach's wife Brandy, so she can repair the damage that has been okay. done. I almost feel like. The cream and razor is going to come out, and I'm going to be completely bald by the end of it. We'll see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, right? Worst case. I'm going to get a new pair of glasses. I'm going to do a lot of sunscreen. Get a new pair of glasses so it'll go great with my glasses. I'm actually, this is going to be different. I'm getting a full black frame. I'm going full nerd, full Clark Kent. I'm excited. Now I really will be married to a nerd. Like crazy. Should I dye my hair black then? Do it. With a little red streak. Well, no, last time, last time I tried dyeing my hair black, I chose um, the violet black, and my hair came out purple. That works. Mommy. That works. Yes. yes. Um, I drank. Um. You finished your milkshake. Yeah. There we go. Okay. okay. We'll well we'll put well, you back in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Love you. Enjoy the rest of your show. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, do you have anything else? I think that's, that's pretty much it. We, we'll be going for almost uh, 30, 35 minutes, I think. We talked about your addiction. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I don't, I don't think so. We talked about Spidey. We did talk about Spidey. Oh, I bought a PS Vita that I wasn't going to buy that you made me buy. I didn't make you. You were going to buy it for you for your birthday. Right. And when you I saw... had, like, a minor freak out before I actually made the purchase. Maybe we shouldn't spend the money. We're about to go on all these vacations and that. Which is one of the reasons why you want the Vita is because you don't drive in the car because you fall asleep. So that gives you something else to do in the car because you'll stay awake for that. <laughs> My plan is unraveling. No, I, I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. I get behind the wheel and I'm good for about a half hour, but I just I just hit the dose meter. I don't I can't I can't explain it. No matter how many how much five hour energy is in me, how much energy no, drink. It doesn't matter. It's just, I did one time take the extra strength. Uh, did you think so? I did. Uh -huh. I did one time take the extra strength to, to finish like the last two hours home in that work one trip. But what, what just popped? Something okay. just popped in your brain. Uh, 80s kids. 80s kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 80s kids. Uh, back in the late 80s when the Ninja Turtles were huge, like the, like the movies were out and stuff. Right. Uh-huh. The Ninja Turtles did a tour. Oh, you want to talk about yeah, this? Yeah, I do. It's called um, it was an out of our. It's called Out of Our Shells, and it coming was out of our coming shells. out of our shells. 
was a concert tour. It might be out of our shells. Out of, I think it's out of their shells. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, they did a concert tour and they had a whole album back in the eighties. And was so it? far, you're the only other person yeah. that I've seen we, that I've met who have heard that's heard I, of this. I can't remember who brought it up, but one of us brought it up. And I, and I used to have. I used you, to. Have, you were singing it one day. Yeah, and I think you were like, "What? What was that?" And I, I used to have the VHS tape. They had a VHS tape of the making of the Coming Out of the Shells tour. But they essentially played all the songs on it, and uh, it did a bunch of backstage stuff. And you saw them like going to different theaters and stuff. And I used to, I used to watch that. There, there are a few movies I used to watch as a kid, back to back. And it was all Turtles. It was that Coming Out of the Shells tour. And it was Turtles Two. I used to watch those two movies. Back to back, we put. I bought Heather Turtles too. I might have said this in the last show. I don't remember. But I bought Turtles, the Turtles trilogy for Heather for Christmas. Yeah. We put in Turtles too, and I knew every single line, every moment that was going to happen. It was all etched in my brain, uh, like child conditioning, I think. But yeah, so that it's it's really really corny and really lame. It's it's empowering kids to be their own person right. and no bullies and be yourself. Walk and, straight. I can't hear you now. Walk straight. So uh, that's, that's a lot of fun. It's really hard to find though. Uh, I had to. They, they still have. I've seen the cassette tape you just, you just on Amazon. Yeah, and uh, I, um, I found them on the internet. Let's just. Well, I found this, this, all the songs on the internet. The, so. um, there's videos on YouTube of the concerts. It's pretty cool. It's fun stuff. We actually spent an hour one day watching YouTube <laughs> because. Apparently they all went on Oprah. Yeah. In their full decked out costumes. They did a whole concert and it on was Oprah. so terrible, but I loved it. It, it just, just it just take it takes you back. It takes you back to being like eight, when the world was good, before the dark times of being an adult. For SpongeBob and educational shows. Yeah. So if you see if you if you know come out of the shells, comment and let us know because I I know one other person who remembers it barely. So, I'd like we'd like to know if if, uh, if anybody else has heard of it. It'd be fun to remember this. So, anything else you got? No. Okay. All right. We, last one we did. Did we talk about free comic day and the stuff about you? I don't think did we do over that. I don't think. Anyway, we just talked about the shirt. Yeah, the shirt. I think we showed that shirt, but I don't know. It's fun. Free for action. I bought you the. That's more for me. No, I didn't buy it then. Did I? Did I buy that then? The. The Wonder Woman? Yeah, I think I think we have talked about yeah, her we did because talk about I this. said it was going to replace me on the show. That's right. Yeah, we did talk about that last time. So maybe we did a show a little while. I, think, uh, I think we did do a show about Free Comic Day. We did. That's right. Okay, so there we go. So that's it. I'll try to get some good footage of the haircut maybe and so, possibly some stuff on our trips. Maybe we'll go back to that comic book store we went to. That's yay. Right. I don't know. Is maybe we, might, we might not have time. There was that other one though. There's maybe we'll try to go in there. Remember the other one we went to, but it was closed because it was Sunday. No. Oh. I'll roll with it. Yeah, we went. To, yeah, so that, and hopefully it won't flood. If you remember last time, there was a lot of flooding, and uh, mm. at, at this beach trip we took. So we'll see what happens. Um, that's it. We're prepped this time. Yahtzee and Uno. Boom. All right, that's it. Heather Steven, married to a nerd. Out. Elena, come say bye. Quick. Front and center. Five. Four. Bye. <laughs> no, you gotta come right around. Here. You gotta go. You gotta go, uh, Elena out. Elena out. <laughs> bye. 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 Okay, we're just doing a test. Make, yeah. make sure the audio works. Testing one, two. My mic sounds. You alright? Can we check on my. Test on my call? What do you mean, can you check on your call? Let me just fix it. I don't know. I don't just, know. What do you mean, fix it? I don't yeah. know. I don't Is that better? Pull like a goober. I don't know. Now it's worse. For me, it looks worse. Now you can't see the white shirt at all. Yeah, but now it just looks. I don't know. I don't like. I like the white showing a little bit. It's like, hey, man, look. That guy's got. That guy has on an undershirt. Yeah. Let's see, it. if I show a bra strap, then everybody loses their minds. I know. So I could see your bra strap. Fix I could, it to where it looks good. I, I thought it looked good when you can't see the white shirt. Are you sure? Yeah. Now you, you can, can see, see it right there. 
No, it's the other side because I'm on camera. No, it's this side. Did you get it? There. Okay.